Hey everybody, Matt Rosenthal, CEO of MindCore Technology Group. Today I wanna to speak with you about something that is actually happening as we speak with a client of mine when it comes to looking at vendors for a variety of IT services. And thankfully the relationship being what it is, they're involving me in the process and they've given me the opportunity to look at uh, what the other vendors have returned to them primarily so that I can help them you know, get more of an apples to apples comparison. And as a result of that, I was able to come up with some questions that they were able to go back to the other vendors with so that they were able to really make sure that what they were getting in all three of our proposals really met the needs or meets the needs of the organization today and going forward. One of the outcomes of this for me was I was like taken back. I was shocked, frankly, by some of the things that I saw in, uh, you know, in, in the proposals and the wording of the uh, the other vendors, I was able to uh, to share some of those those concerns and questions. You know, acting on in, on behalf of my client, you know, making sure that that, that they're not putting themselves in, in a bad position. So I want to point out a couple of these things. And what I would say to you is, take these pointers that I'm going to give you, and when you're going out and you're reviewing potential new vendors, it's very very important. Number one, to understand what you do have right and what you are happy with and when you as a result of having to go out and compare other vendors to your existing vendor these pointers can be really really helpful to you okay the first one is be careful as you vet the other vendors and what i mean by that is know the vendors that you're bringing to the table to begin with you might be uh going out and just googling uh you know top vendors in my area or whatever it might be and a bunch of people pop up and you just call people. There's nothing wrong with that, but you do need to make sure that you vet them, make sure that they have good recommendations and make sure that you're beginning the process with a, a reputable company to begin with that has a good reputation and save yourself the trouble of, of just having to waste your time with a, you know, a vendor that's just not gonna give you what you need to begin with. The second thing is look at the agreements. So when they give you a proposal and an agreement, make sure there's nothing vague in it. Oftentimes, uh, unfortunately, in, in the IT services business, the agreements that you'll find are vague and that vagueness creates future problems. You want very, very, very specific details outlining the sp very specifics of the, the service uh, and the parameters, what's included, what's not included. Anything vague is an indication to you that you might not want to work with that vendor. It may be vague on purpose, it may not be on purpose, but the fact that it's vague does tell you about the uh, attention to detail and what it might be like to work with that vendor. The second thing is if they offer you all sorts of free stuff, which could be really, really appealing, just remember, um, you know, if you're, you're in business and you understand that, how is it that you can order free stuff? You know, sometimes there's ways that you can, you can do it and, and maybe there's a reason to do it, but as a general rule in business, it's hard to give away something uh, for free, a service where you actually have a cost to your own business to continue to give that away for free. That's usually a big red flag that, uh, that there's something that you should really unbox and really peel back the layers um, and ask a lot of questions, uh, ask a lot more questions of that, that potential vendor. Uh, again, how can they give away something for free? And in this case, my guidance was ask how they can give away something for free. When there's a cost to them, how is it they can do that? Uh, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is as number three, which is really, a uh, an extension of the one I just gave you. If something seems to be too good to be true, it usually is, it almost always is, okay? You, use your gut on this one. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right. Um, pay attention, P pay close attention if something seems too good to be true, like 24 hour, unlimited service, remote service, on-site service, unlimited, um, that seems way too good to be true. And what you have to look out for is the exclusions in that vague contract that may speak to, you know, where that comes around to bite you down the road. Okay, so if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. There is a cost to provide the service. Different levels of service have different levels of costs. So when you're looking at the cost of the new vendors that you're vetting, um, just make sure that you, you understand that there is a cost to them to provide that service. So again, off of the last two that I gave you, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is, and all sorts of free stuff, probably isn't really free. Somewhere in there, 
you know, when you really dig in, look at the pricing, again, look at the exclusions, there's a cost for every provider of every service to provide that service. When you look at the pricing, if it's just lower or, or there's such a gap between your current vendor or even the other vendor that you're, you're comparing it to, there's definitely a reason. Um, there, there's, there's middle of the road average costs and, and you really should be seeing more or less the same cost from every vendor. Now it's possible that if you're seeing costs from one of your compared vendors that it's just so low, it, it could simply be that what's in that package just isn't as all inclusive as the other package you're comparing it to. Just make sure you dig in, you do your due diligence and you ask a lot of questions. At the end of the day, you wanna make sure that you're not, you're not choosing the one that costs less uh, only to find out later on that it costs less because you're giving up services or you're giving up quality of service. That's really, really important. So it's a quick tip today. Those are, those are my, my top, uh, those are the points I wanted to get across to you. Um, think about your own business. Think about what your business needs. Think about the level of service and the quality of service that you need. And when you are forced to go out and um, shop uh, for a service, even when you're happy with your internal vendor, make sure that you, you, you do all of this due diligence. You know, it certainly doesn't behoove any company to, um, you know, to go to another vendor um, when you're happy with the one that you have, just because it seems like their price might be a little less or something might seem like it might be more appealing to you. Take that information, go back to your existing vendor and, uh, and, and have a, a dialogue, you know, communicate, have a, have a conversation. That's what's supposed to happen. And that's, that's really the takeaway from this video. If it's too good to be true, it usually is. If the prices are so low, there's probably a reason. And focus on what your business really needs, which is great service, great quality of service, great customer service. And uh, maybe the most important thing is that the relationship that you have with your vendor is just, it's healthy and it feels good and it works, okay? If this video is of any help to you, please share it. I really, I appreciate when you share the videos. I've been getting a tremendous amount of uh, engagement and, and feedback on my videos. Uh, I feel really good about helping all of you. And uh, please like this, please share this. And if there's anything I can do to help you when it comes to IT services, uh, IT consulting, cloud, we love to help you. And, uh, and please just reach out, let me know. And, and I'd be glad to even if, just give you advice. If you just need some advice, you wanna bounce something off me, it's feel free. I would love to be a resource. Please uh, take me up on it and, and bounce your questions off of me. All right. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.